Welcome on your collaborative board, your tasks. All your tasks are made to help you work together with your colleagues. This is as easy as useful. In this video, we will see how to create tasks, how to set responsible on task and how to set reviewer, set the priority and the sequence number, add starting and ending dates and a deadline for the reviewer, and also see the task in different view. As our project is set up, we will now be able to create a task. So we just have to click on the project and click on create to create a new task. My first task will be invoicing module. You can see that the project is automatically set as the development on new accounting applications because I created a task from the project. As I create the task, I am by default assigned to this task and reviewer of the task. But I will change this and I will just remain the reviewer and Michael McFly will be assigned to this task. I will add a deadline. It will be the 21st September. Here you can also add a description. And some tasks can be added in order to search this task in an easily way from the search bar in the Kanban view and the list view. As this task is under the accounting application project, I will put accounting. And also, as this concern the invoicing module, I will add invoicing. Under extra information, I can set the priority of our task. It can be a high priority or extremely high priority. We can also set a sequence order. This will have an influence on the displaying list of your task. For the GAN view, we can add a starting and an ending date. So let's say that this, star, this task will start the 17th of September and will end the 19th. We can save our uh, options and after saving our task options, you can notice that uh, in the chatter, there are two followers now. So the manager, who is the reviewer, and Michael McFly, who is the person responsible for this task. Now I will create two other tasks a task for the bank statement model assigned to Max Mumford with the deadline of the 22 September and the tax accounting and bank statement. And a third one for payment module assign to Michael McFly, the deadline will be the 25, and the tax, accounting, and payment. Now if I go back to my Kanban view, I can see the priority of my first task and the three, three of my tasks here. If I just want to see the, the task with the tag invoicing, I just have to go to advanced search, search for tags, tags contain invoicing, apply, and then I just have the one with this tag. Under the calendar view, you can control the deadlines of the task. So here we can see the deadline of my task that contain invoicing, but if I untick this, I have the deadline for all of my tasks. 
under the GAN view, I can see the, the schedule time I put under the invoicing module task. As I put no date under bank statement and payment module, there is nothing. Now I will connect as a second user. Here, for example, as Michael McFly, uh, because he was assigned uh, to some task. Um, you can see here in the messaging box that there is some notification. For example, Michael McFly is assigned to the payment module. Max Mumford was assigned for the bank statement module. Michael McFly again for the invoicing module. So he can click on, on project or just click here directly from the chat, uh, from the, the inbox. So just click on it and then directly on the task. But you can also see that when he click on project, on the task, there is a number two. I will say that there is two new messages for me. As the bank statement module and payment module. If I go back to my first task, here Mike Maflag will say to his manager that he will start today. He log his internal note and put this task in another stage. Then if I go back as the manager, I see that I have a new message. And this is because the task changed from one stage to another and because I have a message from Michael McFly. 